Tonight, our country is caught up in a confusing series of abortion laws and challenges just days after the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. The ACLU tonight is taking Kentucky's trigger law to court, and it's not alone. Twelve states across the country are currently facing court battles over abortion bans, causing confusion for patients, doctors, and lawmakers. Here in central Indiana, lawmakers just delayed a special session to decide new potential abortion restrictions. Now that's set for late July. But Indiana Attorney General Todd Burkita tonight is asking a federal judge to lift orders blocking previous abortion restrictions across Indiana. Now, while we wait to see what happens with those efforts, health care workers spent their day here in downtown Indianapolis pushing for abortion access across our state. Hundreds of health care providers and Hoosiers came out Wednesday night to deliver one message to state lawmakers that abortion care is health care. Doctors, not lawmakers! And they delivered that message through a megaphone. Abortion is health care! Marching with signs and chanting. We won't give up this fight! Wednesday's rally came just as state lawmakers announced their return to the state house in the coming weeks for a special session, where the future of abortion rights in Indiana will be determined. This is not a political issue. This is a health care issue. Danielle Spry is a labor and delivery nurse. Almost three years ago, she had an abortion, 20 weeks into her second pregnancy. We were so excited for our second child. So excited. Little baby girl named Charlotte. That changed, says Spry, when an ultrasound revealed her baby would be born without lungs. So she would have come out from the womb gasping for breath that she would not have been able to take. My husband and I would have watched her suffocate to death. Instead, they terminated the pregnancy. The hardest decision I've ever had to make, but in some ways the, the easiest. Spry was among the hundreds gathered who support people being able to make decisions like the one Spry and her husband made without abortion restrictions preventing it. Not everyone who came out to the rally shared the same viewpoint. But when it comes down to it, do you think it's okay to kill innocent human beings or not? This ICU nurse wouldn't give her last name or say what hospital she worked at, but was among a small group of anti-abortion advocates who showed up to rally with their own signs. We do care about women. We're not just pro-birth. No one is forcing anyone to have babies. But if you get pregnant and you're carrying a human being already, that human being deserves the right to life as much as you do. The woman is a life. The person who's carrying the pregnancy is a life. When will her life matter? You know, That's the question this OBGYN had, one she doesn't believe lawmakers should decide the answer to. Healthcare providers are sick of politicians getting in the way of their decision making. Today, Indiana lawmakers push back the special session where they'll tackle potential abortion restrictions. So instead of as planned meeting on July 6th, lawmakers now are going to come together and meet on the 25th of July. And they expect that session will take several weeks. Until then, statewide, abortions are allowed under Indiana law. They do have to be before 22 weeks of pregnancy with only select exceptions for medical emergencies. Now, Republican lawmakers expect to pass some kind of ban during the session but they have yet to say how far new potential restrictions will go. Insiders tell us if there are exceptions, they'd be few and far between, mainly for things like cases of incest or rape or if the mother's life is in danger. You can read up on Indiana's current abortion restrictions and the upcoming special sessions right now if you open up the WTHR app.